Hello, High Point family. Uh, Pastor Brandon here and just uh, wanted to share a devotional thought with you today. Uh, many of you know that I used to be a youth pastor. And as a youth pastor, you always get uh, kids asking you questions uh, centered really on the idea of what can they get away with and still be called a Christian. Or they would ask things like, uh, can I smoke weed and still be saved? Or can I have sex with my boyfriend or girlfriend and, and, and still be called a Christian? And uh, can I disobey my parents and, and just disregard what they say? And, and is Jesus okay with that? You know, and they would ask these kind of questions really as a, as a way to justify sinful behavior and to seek uh, their own good and their own pleasure, uh, despite what God, what they knew God had called them to do and how he had called them to live. And it was funny because every time they asked me those kinds of questions, uh, my response was always the same. My response was, you can do any of those things as long as you can do them to the glory of God. You see, 1 Corinthians 10, 20, 10, 31 uh, reminds us that whether we're eating, whether we're drinking, in whatever we do, we are to do it all to the glory of God. And so this is my challenge for us this week, church. As we go about our days, as we uh, look to, to, to become more like Christ, ask yourself today, is what I'm doing right now glorifying to God? Is my behavior bringing him the glory and the honor and the praise that's due his name? You know, the danger of, of a practice like this is it, it reveals a whole a host of sinful behaviors that maybe you didn't even realize you had. And yet, uh, as you get into this habit, it's an opportunity for us to run back to Christ in repentance, to seek his holiness and to say, Lord, forgive me. And, and to remind our hearts and our minds that, that there is always grace. That God's grace and his forgiveness is, is limitless. But I love this kind of activity because it reminds us just how good and how loving our God is. That we are, in fact, desperate sinners who will seek, like those teenagers, to, to rub up against the line uh, of sin as hard as we can any time we're able and yet as we catch ourselves in those moments, as we seek to become more like Christ, and we ask ourselves, Lord, is my behavior glorifying to you? Then we can, then we can turn to him and say, Lord, help me. Help me to flee this temptation. Help me to run to your word instead. Help me to, to seek after uh, what is right and good. Help me to go towards my accountability partner and, and ask for help and prayer when I need it. These kinds of questions serve as a, as a marker for our own Christian lives. Is what I'm doing today glorifying to you, O Lord? May that be our heart's cry. May that be our prayer this week, that all that we say and all that we do be glorifying to you, O Lord. We love you all. Hope you have a wonderful week. Talk to you later.